Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today I'm probably just going to talk just a short minute about something that's probably on all your hearts, and that's the oil spill. Like some people are wondering what it really means and what it's all about. Well, I believe that the oil, some people say that the oil spill is a judgment. Um, I don't believe it's a judgment uh, or the wrath of God because we're not appointed to wrath. We're not going to be here when the wrath of God is poured out on the earth. Um, I believe it's what the Bible says that the earth is um, cannot uphold all the sin that's on it and it's just cracking um, from the sin. I believe that there's going to be some major consequences uh, because of this oil spin, spill, not just to the animal kingdom, plant life in the ocean, but to people. I think there's going to be some pretty drastic consequences, short and long term. I don't think we're going to be here for the long term, personally. Um, I think the Bible says that the earth reels to and fro under the weight of sin, <clears throat> and I believe that's what's happening. I believe it might look like it's negligence to man, but I believe it's demonic behind it that uh, a, per, a person or business or company or whatever is just being used. Uh, for this uh, problem, um, um, I believe that there's going to be continue to be strange things happening. I think that this uh, probably event is probably one of the biggest things in the world. Disaster is the biggest disaster in the world that uh, has affected or will affect more things. I believe it's a setup for end times. Um, I believe there's going to be earthquakes where people didn't even know earthquakes. I'm um, not earthquakes, but I believe there will be earthquakes. But I believe there'll be volcanoes where people didn't even know there was a volcano existing. I believe there's going to be tornadoes, hurricanes, weather that we haven't never seen before. But I believe that the Christian is going to be protected, the, especially the Christian that knows the power, authority, and dominion that they have in the kingdom that they're going to have protection and provision. I think the world's going to go through drought and famine and pestilence and all kinds of things. I think we're going to be here for the beginning of it. And those who, you know, receive the free gift of, of Jesus dying for our sins, um, accepting that free gift, they are Christians. And those are the ones that are going to, um, you know, when, when we're raptured out of here, that's, we're, we're going to be here in the beginning of that stuff, and then we'll be raptured out of here. But I believe it's going to get worse. And I believe as it gets worse, that life for the Christian will be better. But I believe that the most important thing about this end times is um, to get rid of everything in your life that does not, that is wasting your time. We need to get rid of things that are wasting our time, things that are just nonsense. We need to learn how, I think the most important thing in these end times, to get away from fear, is to realize that God is a good God and He's given you all power, authority, and dominion. And He wants you to live on earth as you will in heaven. And the most important thing is to get into His presence. If you can learn that through praise, it's through praise, worship, and thanksgiving that you come into God's presence, that you can give, you can call in His presence at any time and any place. And the more you practice doing this at home, the more you'll be able to do this on the street or anywhere else. And the more you build up your faith and realize that the Kingdom of God, the power of God, dominion of God is inside of you, the more you'll be able to lay hands on the sick and be the answer to the world's problems. So, I'm just encouraging you, um, in light of this oil spill that's been going on for a month or more, to um, get in God's presence, to learn how to get in God's presence, and to realize the best is yet to come for you if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, get I would become a Christian. You don't want to miss the rapture, and you don't want to miss living like heaven on earth while the earth is still here and while you're still here. So my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and I'm out.